at Rye Bros, and we recently hit 10,000 subscribers. This is one of the most amazing things to happen in my YouTube career, and I just wanted to say thank you. So, to commemorate this large milestone, I finally decided to give you guys my take on my top 10 favorite Pokemon. I hope you guys know that narrowing down 721 Pokemon to 10 is one of the most difficult things for a man to do. There are just so many awesome Pokemon, but with hours of thinking, sweating, and crying... Wait, why was I sweating and crying? Lord Helix, I'm a nerd. I was finally able to narrow it down to 10. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. Seriously, what's not to like about Snorlax? This giant doughy Pokemon is one of the coolest Pokemon out there. Looking at the personality of Snorlax, it reminds me a lot of me. It's very chill, relaxed, and most importantly, lazy. And it loves to sleep on roads. I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh, you don't? Well, that's because you're a loser. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Go back to sleeping on your Tempur-Pedic. I got roads. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Glyscore found its way into my heart after I met my good friend, Chespin Jr. 98. He absolutely hates Glyscore because of how it's used competitively, and he can't stand the sight of it. So, what does a typical friend do? He pisses off his friends. And constantly using Glyscore in battles made me realize that it's just a really awesome Pokemon. It's like a vampire scorpion bat thing. What's not to like about it? Everything about Gyarados screams awesome to me. Look at its design and then look back at me and tell me that it's not 100% pure manliness. Tell me! It's not. WRONG! It is. This Pokemon will always hold a special place in my heart because it was my first shiny. Yes, I know it's the most common shiny Pokemon ever, but when I was five and I didn't know about the internet, shiny Gyarados was one of the coolest things ever to me. And whenever I revisit the Kanto or Johto regions, I will always remember to have King Carp on my team. There is always that one Pokemon that you always have to have on your team. Flygon is that Pokemon. Ever since my first journeys through the Hoenn region, I always wanted to have a Flygon on my team. Constantly seeing Drake having multiple Flygons made me so jealous, and seeing it in the Jirachi movie made me want this Pokemon even more. I just had to find out how to get one. After several playthroughs of the game, I finally figured out that Trap Hinch later evolves into Flygon. It was a hard and difficult task to train Trap Inch in later Vibrava, but it was well worth it when I finally got my Flygon. I named it Flygon Jin because why not? Speaking of Generation 3, I had to include this Pokemon on the list. But what is this Pokemon you say? Love Disk! No, I'm kidding. But since that Pokemon kind of represents love, it's a great segue to my real number 6 pick, Gardevoir. In almost every playthrough I've done of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, I always made sure that I had a Ralts on my team. Everything about this Pokemon screams awesome to me. From its awesome design, awesome base stats, to even its Pokemon Emerald Dex entry which states, it will give its life to protect its trainer. Now that's dedication. All around, Gardevoir is a great Pokemon and will forever keep its place in my Hall of Fame. There's one word that comes to mind when I think of this Pokemon. Kevin! If you guys don't get that reference, you're either not a fan of the NBA or you're not a close friend of mine. Either way, ever since I found out about this Pokemon in Generation 5, I fell in love with it because of its name, Durant. And I always had the perfect nickname for it. Kevin! It just looks like a Kevin, Kevin! and it fits so perfectly to me. So I started using this Pokemon more and more, and seeing how great it is in competitive battle, I realized that Kevin needs a Mega Evolution. Mega Duran, anyone? <laughs> 
Every time I went back to play through a Johto game, there's always two starters I wanted to pick, Totodile and Cyndaquil. Number four is Typhlosion. Considering that Johto is one of my favorite regions, I played through a lot of Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, and the remakes, and I picked Cyndaquil at least seven or eight times throughout my journey. Seriously, I can't say anything bad about the design for any of the Pokemon from the Typhlosion line. Cyndaquil is adorable, Quilava is cool, and Typhlosion is the epitome of badass. That may be the pyromaniac in me talking, but either way, Typhlosion is awesome and is my second favorite starter of all time. Who's my favorite, you say? You'll find out soon. <laughs> This Pokemon doesn't have too much history, but I just love it so much. Crawdont is a Pokemon that I always used in Hoenn when I wasn't using Swamper. Its design is perfect, its typing is very unique, but what really makes me love this Pokemon is its competitive battling prowess. This Pokemon is amazing competitively. Put Dragon Dance, Aqua Jet, Knock Off, and Crab Hammer on it, max out its attack and speed and slap a Focus Sash on it, and you're pretty much set. Fun fact, I actually used this in an FFA with Mystic Umbreon and I swept his team and completely pissed him off. Suck it Umbreon. By far my favorite legendary Pokemon ever, Lugia is a complete beast. The design kind of reminds me of Adele. It's big, bulky, but it's just so beautiful at the same time. Too far. Anyways, another reason why I just adore Lugia is from the Pokemon movie 2000. The way Lugia carries itself and the fact that it's the guardian of all the legendary birds plus the sea, it's just awesome. Lugia also used to be my mascot for my channel because at one point it was my favorite Pokemon, but recently I found love in a different Pokemon. Number one is Charizard. Thank you guys. Just kidding. Totally not stealing a joke from Wade's top 10 legendary Pokemon. Click here to check it out. It's a good video. Go watch it. Yeah. Did you really not expect this though? I mean, he is plastered everywhere on my channel and is basically my mascot. I mean, for Arceus sake, I got a plushie of shiny Charizard right next to me as I speak. See? Everything about this Pokemon is absolutely perfect. The design from Charmander to the Megas is absolutely stunning. Not to mention Charizard and Mega Charizard Y shiny. Look at it! A black dragon! It's so genius! I can't even English how great this is! Charizard is also what I consider to be my first real starter, and that holds a special place in my heart. I know there are a lot of Charizard haters out there. It's overrated! It sucks. It's not a dragon! He's four times weak to a pebble! Charizard is the spawn of Satan! Okay, maybe they don't say that last one, but in all honesty, I just think they're jealous. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, I cannot say this enough, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. You guys constantly give me the motivation to continue making videos. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Arribro today. If you guys haven't seen my other countdown videos, click here to see my top 10 city and town themes in Pokemon. If you want something different, click here to see my video on crazy Pokemon science. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.